Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64. This is part 3 of my SCP Foundation Creepypasta series. Although in this part, I'm not necessarily going to be reading uh, SCP Creepypastas. What I'm going to be doing in this part is that I'm going to be reading some joke SCPs. Uh, these are basically SCPs that are not meant to be taken seriously. They are jokes. And some of them are actually pretty funny. Now I'm going to be reading two joke SCPs in this video. And if I do still have enough time in this video, I might read another, uh, just regular SCP. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep these, uh, SCP Foundation Creepypasta videos at least, uh, no longer than 10 minutes. And actually, the two joke SCPs that I'm going to read in this part are actually pretty short, so I might have enough time to read another, uh, normal SCP. But anyway, without much further talking, let's get, uh, right to reading some joke SCPs. So the one I'm going to start off with first is... SCP-789-J. Now, the joke SCPs have the prefix J at the end of their names. All joke SCPs have that. That way you can tell which SCPs are jokes and which SCPs are, well, actually serious SCPs. But this SCP right here is probably the least serious SCP out of the 2,000 plus SCP is on the SCP Foundation website. This SCP is technically in SCP Containment Breach, but you never actually see it, you only hear it. But this joke SCP is in fact an SCP Containment Breach, and I think I actually uh, found a SCP-789-J in one of my uh, SCP Containment Breach videos, so yeah. And you know what? Considering these are joke SCPs, I don't think I'm gonna put any uh, creepy music in here. I would probably put in, like, maybe unfitting music, but I don't know what kind of unfitting music I could put in here. Maybe I'll just put no music in. But anyway, without much further talking, let's just read SCP-789-J, because I'm kind of wasting time by talking a lot here. Item number SCP-789-J. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-789-J is kept in my toilet, and only I can talk to it. Description. SCP-789-J is a ghost that is a face. It lives in a toilet and talks to you while you poop. And when you poop, it goes, no, stop, ah! And then stops because there's poop in its mouth. SCP-79-J travels around in butts. You can only get rid of it by wiping. That is the moral of the story. Sometimes it kills other butts and makes them butt ghosts too. But it's always lonely because it's a butt ghost. Addendum. If you fall in the toilet, it eats your butt. By Researcher James, age 11. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? What the heck did I just read, for goodness sakes? Well, there you go, that's the butt ghost, basically, SCP-789-J. And yes, this SCP is actually an SCP containment breach. Well, what do I have to say about this joke SCP? <laughs> Frankly, I have no words. I have, I have no words for this. Words can not describe, honestly cannot describe what I think about this joke SCP right here. And I don't think the person who wrote this uh, joke SCP is 11. Sounds more as if he's, like, six years old. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know what else to say. I, I, I really don't. I know this is supposed to be a joke, but still. That was so stupid. And not to mention, this joke SCP actually has some very good ratings. The rating system right here says plus 195. Usually if a uh, SCP has a negative rating, that means it's a terrible SCP, but no, apparently people think this is actually a decent read. I mean, what the... how can... Uh, uh, oh, I don't... I don't know. I don't know anymore. You know what? I... I... <laughs> Let's just move on to the next joke SCP, please, before I lose my sanity. Next up, we have SCP-666-J. And there's actually a bunch of images that go along with this joke SCP, but let's just, uh... let's just read it here. Item number, SCP-666-J. Object class, Eucalyd. Special containment procedures. D-Class and Gerald are the only ones allowed to get on any vehicle that Dr. Gerald happens to be driving. Prepare a number of body bags equivalent to the number of passengers on any vehicle that he happens to drive, minus himself. Additionally, medical teams must be on standby if Dr. Gerald will be traveling through a populated area or any form of potentially hazardous environment, e.g. a nuclear power plant, chemical refining plant. Description. All individuals who board any vehicle or form of transportation that Dr. Gerald himself is controlling in any form are assured to die. Testing has shown that even those who escape vehicles he's been driving are doomed. They are generally struck by another moving vehicle within minutes. Dr. Gerald himself, oddly enough, always survives whatever horrors he puts a vehicle through. Additionally, all potentially hazardous objects seem to become even more dangerous if he's manning a vehicle in their general vicinity. 
Knives penetrate more than their sharpness would accord. Normally benign oil tankers become moving bombs that will detonate with the slightest touch. Buildings lose any significant rigidity. And pedestrians seem to lose all forms of self-preservation, throwing themselves into his path. A mere bicycle ride can inflict the devastation of a T3 tornado. Addendum 6661. Dr. Gerald is never to come within 25 meters of SCP-462. Addendum 6662. Plans are being made to construct a vehicle which can contain SCP-682 long enough for Dr. Gerald to actually drive it. Okay, well that's SCP-666-J, so apparently uh, SCP-666-J is this Dr. Gerald guy that's virtually indestructible because even if he gets into a giant car crash, doesn't kill him. Anybody that gets into a vehicle with him might as well consider themselves dead. Now the images are actually something I want to kind of primarily focus on here. Um, in this image, it appears as though Dr. Gerald is jumping out of a building after something on top of it has exploded. The caption reads, How the hell did he manage that with an electrically powered Segway? Yeah, I never knew electrically powered Segways could explode. Either that, or maybe he crashed a Segway into something which caused that to explode. The caption of this image reads, Dr. Gerald was told to take an ordinary school bus full of D-Class to a nearby site. He somehow managed to end up in a demolition derby. Doesn't really look like he's in a demolition derby in this image, but he is, however, driving the school bus over some motorcycles as the school bus is exploding. You think a tornado was responsible for the destruction of this town? Well, guess again. The caption reads, The results of Dr. Gerald driving through the town of Redacted on a moped. Yes, a moped, and it caused all of this to occur, apparently. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to s assume because his name is Dr. Gerald that he works at the SCP Foundation. Now, I do believe the guards are allowed to kill D-Class personnel. I'm not sure if they're allowed to kill the uh, actual people who work at the SCP Foundation. But I think at this point, terminating Dr. Gerald would be a pretty good idea, in my opinion. If he can cause this much destruction by just driving on a moped, for goodness sakes. Or if he can cause this much destruction by just skating in rollerblades. How he even survives all of that, I have no idea, to be honest. Oh, looks like Dr. Gerald is just going for a ride on his ATV. Not to mention, he's also being a show-off, because, look, he's just... He's riding on two wheels, apparently. Well, that's what you get for riding on only two wheels. Apparently, this crash, according to the uh, caption did actually kill a certain amount of people. The uh, exact amount is blanked out, but apparently it, the, uh, the death toll is a double-digit number. This apparently is supposed to be the only place where Dr. Gerald is allowed to drive without permission. I guess I can kind of understand why. The sign says absolutely nothing next 22 miles. Yeah, that's a really descriptive sign, by the way. But it's far away from a populated area, and when you put Dr. Gerald in a populated area, and he's driving a vehicle, you know what'll happen. An apocalypse, basically, but anyway. And those are all the images that are featured on the SCP-666-J uh, article. This article does have some very good ratings. It has, it's actually one of the uh, top-rated uh, articles on the uh, entire SCP Foundation website, with a rating of plus 282, so even better than the Butt Ghost. But yeah, there you go. SCP-666-J, also known as Dr. Gerald, also known as the human natural disaster. Well, there you go. So there's two joke SCPs. So not all the SCPs on the SCP Foundation website are serious. And because of that, they're not technically creepypastas. But they're still fun to read nonetheless. And I will be uh, reading some more uh, joke SCPs in uh, future parts. But there was uh, two of them right there. So we got SCP-789-J, the butt ghost. That one was actually just very stupid, to be honest. But then again... I, it's probably intentionally stupid, considering the fact that it's a joke SCP. SCP-666-J, also known as Dr. Gerald. I'll admit, it was kind of funny, but I think for the most part it was just plain weird. But that's just my opinion. You guys are allowed to disagree with me all you want, so... Anyway, I don't think I have enough time to uh, do another uh, SCP in this video, because uh, the video is actually almost 10 minutes long. So, I think I'm just going to end the video off here for now. So there's two joke SCPs. If you want to read the original uh, joke SCPs on the SCP Foundation website, links are in the description as always. So yeah. But I think I'm pretty much done for now. So this is Dr. Robonic64. Thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or subscribe. Also feel free to follow me on Twitter. Check out my Google Plus page as I post link... Uh, <laughs>
Jeez, I almost sounded like a motorboat there. But as I was trying to say, feel free to follow me on Twitter, check out my Google Plus page as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to both of these places. Links to my Twitter account and Google Plus account are in the description of all my videos, including this one. That's it for now, so we'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later.